Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the weekly contest 434 generate tag for video caption. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem or this poem. Uh, the, the reason why I chuckle is because I got so many wrong answers on this one. I had three wrong answers over five minutes. I don't think this is anything that tricky, honestly. Um, I, I think my uh, complaint mostly is around how unspecified um, a word is. I mean, I guess like there's a natural definition of a word, but if you're going to try to fool people on gotchas on like multiple spaces and what does it mean, then you have to define what a sentence means. You can't just have like, you know, um, like random spacing. And I think that's kind of the issue, right? And like having no, like all spaces, for example, like how... I, it's not even clear to me that if you have only all spaces, you should only have a hashtag, right? Like, I mean, I guess, like, you know, that is the, like, if you just put all the things, if you put the word, if you put the sentence of empty spaces into a machine that has this algorithm, yes, it would produce only a hashtag. But does it make sense? For an algorithm, if you're going to have, like, a real-world context, generate a tag for video caption, like, it doesn't make sense to have a hashtag with nothing on it. Like maybe it makes sense to just return an empty string, for example, right? Like context matters. And that's why being spe specific matters, right? Like what is a sentence? How many empty spaces? Like you can't get people on weird edge cases if that's not the intentional, right? I mean, yes, like you can say this is, well, but like, you know, I don't know. It, then like, what is a word? Like a space of word? Is it possible? I guess maybe, maybe not. And maybe it doesn't matter if you convert it or not, but it's just way weird. But otherwise, uh, I mean, it's a fine problem, I guess. It's just way awkward. And I, I, and I did get a wrong answer because I, I actually just, I forgot about this part, <laughs> yeah, which happens. And I end up with three wrong answers as we saw, just like silly things. Uh, but this is my code. I mean, it does everything that you're supposed to do. Uh, I, I had some issues where, um, you know, this indexing and this indexing uh, just went out of bounds because I didn't have this if statement. So I was like, okay, well, whoops, whoopsie dates. I didn't know you can have just an empty string. And yeah, because I didn't think that that's a reasonable input, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is going to be linear time. Every word we, we look at each character like two or three times. So everything is relatively straightforward. And yeah. That's why I have this one. I think the code is pretty okay. I mean, you probably could clean up a little bit, but it is a very awkward one for sure. Uh, and actually maybe here, now that I think about it, maybe uh, you could have just done this instead, but whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter to be honest. And you could say that maybe do a filter beforehand, but yeah, um, okay, submit. Okay, it looks good, right? And that's it. That's why I have this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and yeah. Um, you can watch me solve a live during the virtual contest with all the silly wrong answers and give me some love and feedback. Um, now, always forget where the buttons are now these days. All right, let's go. Uh, mm, I always also forget how to reset the thing. All right. Am I recording? Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. Come on, all words. Camel case. Okay, I mean, it doesn't seem that hard, just very easy to mess up. Um, okay. They don't define what a word is, though, which is a little bit weird. But uh, I think there is a hmm. I thought there was a camel case um li uh, library function, standard function, but I'm wrong with that one maybe. Um, okay, so what to lower first letter of all words is capitalized. So we lower it and then we and then the first word, right? So do 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 do. 
something like that and then da -da -da. and then now we want the first word to be lower right so and this is actually inside and then we just return to da -da -da -da. something like that problem is that they don't tell you whether this is like accurate-ish like if, given these expectations like should that be I don't know it looks okay but it's way easy to make a silly mistake so I wouldn't be surprised like that like how can I tell that I missed two characters because looking at these outputs you know I mean that oh actually hmm I don't know that's really weird is there did I change oh I missed the 100 max um okay that that's fair yeah i just didn't see it to be honest but like uh truncate the result so that actually includes this i think um i, I wish um uh, i wish there's a way to kind of uh i mean I could have used this, but it didn't seem to use it. Maybe it did, but is that to see? Like uh, this should be automated, right? So I guess that. So I did mess up on the example, but I it's just hard to count. And I uh, honestly uh, didn't even see it, so I mean it's fine. So I guess I have to do like a manual comparison, because um, I don't want to get another wrong answer. Uh, okay, so that looks good. Uh, that's uh, hopefully better results this time. Oh my. Man, today I am not good when the Yeezy is sad, then it's going to be sad. Uh, string out of bound, why? Oh, because of this thing? Hmm, why? Yeah, huh. I thought split does does that, but uh, okay, fine. Hmm. Oh, actually, I mean, I, I I should be a little bit better anyway, because it tells me to remove all characters that are not um an English character anyway. But I so maybe that's another case anyway, right? But uh. But only in kit so, eh, I don't know. Alright, let's go again. Really silly mistakes. I don't know what to tell you. This is a very silly problem. But uh in rather test case, isn't that oh. Uh hmm. Oh I see. Eh. Is it just hashtag? What is the expected answer? It doesn't even tell me. I guess YOLO. I mean, I already got three wrong answers. So I, I guess at this point, I am already forever behind with three wrong answers on Q1. But uh, it's okay. Uh, you know, this is what happens when you do things at 3 a.m. Maybe I should have gone to bed and did it tomorrow. I got it. Also, honestly, I kind of tilted a little bit in the sense that I probably could have slowed down a little bit. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit subscribe button, drop me on Discord. Let me know what you think about well, this problem, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.